You can create a great map without any zone design, but by adding it, it can really lift the map up. So in this video, I'll show you some Minecraft zones you can use in your maps. But first, let me teach you how to use the slash play zone command. Begin with typing slash play zone, then type what sound you want to be played. I'll just type underscore here as an example. But change this out with the sound you want here when executing the command yourself. After that, type Type which players the sound shall be played to. You can stop the command here and it'll work, but if you want more customization, continue with typing three tildes or coordinates to where the sound shall be played at. Then type how low do you want the sound to be and lastly type the pitch of your sound. There is one problem though with continuing the command and that is that if you want everybody in the server to hear the sound, typing at a won't work here because the tildes in the command chooses where to play the sound at. That means some players might hear it, but only those who is close to the point where the sound is played at. Luckily, the slash execute command has that covered. It can execute a command at every player in the game as if it was that player. Since tildes refers to your own location, typing the following will make it so everyone will hear the sound of your choice. Slash execute as at a positioned as at s position tildes 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 run play sound type your choice of sound here at a tildes 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 type what volume you want the sound played in and lastly its pitch. Alright now that you know how to use the slash play sound command let me show you some different sounds. Random dot pop. This sound can for example be used for when you interact with certain things. Clicking slash popping sounds can really add some liveliness to your map, but they can get repetitive fast. So mixing it up a bit is important. That's why the next sound is also a clicking slash popping sound. Random.click. As just mentioned, this is also a sound that can be used for interacting with things. A lot of the sounds mentioned in this video are used by servers in some shape or form. The servers might have slightly changed the pitch of the different sounds, but the sound in itself is the same. Hive, for example, uses the following sound for when there's something you can't buy in Treasure Wars. This sound is called note.bass, but something that is a bit funny, I guess, is that you can also type note.bass attack to get the same sound played. At least I can't hear any difference, but feel free to comment down below if you do. Another sound Hive uses is random.screenshot. Hive uses this sound for when somebody dies in block drop. The following sound is often used for when you do something correct or just as another clicking slash popping sound. It's called random.orb. When leveling up or getting a checkpoint, the random.level up sound is often used. Note.pling is yet another clicking slash popping sound you can use. If you want to simulate someone or something being hit in your map, game.player.attack.strong is great for that. Let's say that you are creating a horror map. To add some ambient, you can play condit.ambient. Or a heartbeat sound. Mob.zombie.woodbreak is a sound that can be used for when something breaks. If this video interested you, you might want to check out one of my maps here or watch another video here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.